I want to know what kind of deal you think they are calling uh, New Orleans and offering right now because the latest word is that, okay, we, they, the Lakers have finally broken through the I'm not picking up the phone. Magic Magic has been able to <laughs> I always think stories like this are funny. So, you know, when, when teams don't take calls, right? right. And then and then the story leaks that they that they don't take calls, right? That that, that always is it's always fun to me because there there's other ways around that and yeah. as that eventually email carrier pigeon yeah there's other people who can take those calls as well yeah. right and so my understanding of the call today was it was just magic johnson and dell demps and it okay. was a very high level discussion. dell's not going to not take magic's call right, right? <laughs> rob palinka's call is yeah. not, not the same as Irvin johnson's call send that one a voice not in the last 40 years have those calls been equal right exactly so <laughs> when they, they, they finally got on the phone and i i don't think that we're any closer to some sort of a resolution but the big question is if the lakers were to make the so the quote-unquote godfather offer where would that land them in the make a deal now or wait till the summer so uh, the discussion that they had today essentially said to them look anybody but LeBron James is available like let's have this conversation New Orleans still has to decide though if they want to have that conversation in Woj and Zach Lowe's story from this morning mm -hmm. they basically said that right now it could yep. obviously change but right now the Pelicans attitude toward AD is if you want to join the Lakers you better put yourself in store for a long wait yeah. you better wait till the summer of 2020 LeBron will be turning 36 the Lakers might not even wait for mm -hmm. you with the cap room and if the Lakers do they're basically wasting two seasons yep. of LeBron wasting they're basically using up two seasons mm -hmm. of LeBron mm -hmm. James do you think that there is even an open road for the Lakers here or that I mean, they are just of, so firmly not interested the in Pelicans are kind of carrying the banner for all the small market teams but not necessarily small just small market but any team who's superstar wants to leave right any team whose superstar doesn't want to play there anymore can now it has been saying two teams right we saw Kawhi Leonard do this right a couple last year you saw Paul George do it with the Pacers and teams don't like it because superstars are what this league revolves around isn't Boston a big market though and haven't they the reporting I saw was Woj had last week that they've been calling for Anthony Davis for a year oh, yeah. and a half absolutely so if you think someone else is after your superstar from a big market it's both coasts right. yeah right and it's not just that somebody's after your superstar. I think we have to just come back to a fundamental question though and I you know I would be curious to get your thoughts on this too Trace of players have a sense of self-determination now and the idea that you can say I, I want to be someplace else is a big that, that's something big for owners for other teams in the league to hear but it's also a, a sense of agency right mm -hmm. I, I think that players in this it, before you would have that you, you might not want to be there but it, you were sort of speaking out of turn to say I don't want to be there well I, I think a player of his caliber, mm -hmm. Anthony Davis, has have given you know that franchise yeah. what six, seven years of you know his blood, sweat, and tears, yeah. and he sensed that they're not trying to compete for a championship. So why am I wasting my talent here, where I can go to a mm -hmm. franchise that I know will build around me and have give me the best chance to win a championship? That's all these guys want to do.